minasan yokoso hi everybody welcome to edipedia world so we have completed 11 lessons we are into lesson number 12 the title of this lesson is netsuga arimas netsuga arimas we will learn the meaning of this title when we go into the conversation part of this lesson so just like every other lesson we will start with tango vocabulary the first word is kaeru kaeru to go back or to return to go back or to return kaeru soto soto outdoor or outside soto outdoor or outside there to go out there to go out or to exit Yasum to take rest. Yasum to take rest. Mizu water. It's a noun. Mizu water. Nome to drink. Nome to drink. Deva okay now. Deva okay now. Or well. Itai sore or painful. Itai sore. Or painful. Dai job, it's okay, all right. Dai job, it's okay, all right. Kao, face. Kao, face. Bioki, bioki, disorder or feeling sick, illness. Bioki is disorder. Nets, fever. Nets, fever. Kusuri, medicine. Kusuri medicine Toki occasion Toki occasion Mochiron of course Mochiron of course Doshte why Doshte why Kaze cold Kaze cold The next word is Hiku Hiku actually has got a lot of different meanings but here it is kaze wo hiku which means to catch a cold so kaze wo hiku is to catch a cold clear the next word is chanto chanto properly chanto properly beddo bed it's a foreign word and that's why it's written in katakana beddo is bed sagere lower or to low down or to bend down something on that line sagere to low down to bend down lower yukuri slowly yukuri slowly atama his head atama head te hand te hand ashi is leg ashi is leg so now let's have a recap of all the words Kaeru to go back. Soto outdoor. Deru to go out. Yasumu to take rest. Mizu water. Nome to drink. Deva okay now. Ita, itai sore painful. Dai job it's okay all right. Kao face. Bioki disorder nets fever kusuri medicine toki occasion mochiron of course doshte why kaze cold kaze wo hiku to catch a cold chanto properly beddo bed sagere to low down yukuri slowly atama head te hand ashi leg the next is jukuko bombo idioms and grammar the first one is nani nani thai want to nani nani thai want to the next one is te or de it is just a they form which we have already learnt in the previous lesson. 
Next is Nani Nani Thari Nani Nani Thari Suru and and do when you want to explain a lot of things to do this that this that in that cases you have to use Thari Thari Suru. The next one is Pai or Hai or Bai. This is a classifier of drink with glass or cup. Okay. Pai, Hai or Bai. It's a classifier of drinks with glass or cup. The next is Mo Arima Sen. It is a perfect negative for interrogative pronouns. It's a perfect negative for interrogative pronouns. Nagara is as or while. Nagara is as or while. The next one is Nai, which is equivalent to Arima Sen, which means there is nothing. There is nothing available. Okay. The last one is Doshimashta. What's the matter with you? Doshimashta is what's the matter with you. Now you will learn how to use or how to form sentences using these grammar particles in the Hatten session. Okay. So just remember that Thai is want to. Te form or they form we have already learnt in the previous lesson. Tari Tari Suru is used when you want to explain a lot of things to do. The next is pie, hi, buy. It's a cl counter or classifier of drinks with glass or cup. Mo arimasen is a perfect negative for interrogative pronouns. Nagara is as or while. Nai is equivalent to arimasen, which is a negative, which means there is nothing. And doshimashta is what's the matter with you. Clear? Atten. Here we will learn how to convert a plain form into Thai and Thari forms. So I have taken few examples from first and second group of verbs. Let's first take the example of first group of verbs. Two examples are given here. One is there and other one is Sagiru. There means to go out or to exit. Sagiru is to low down or to bend down. Now how do you convert it into Thai form? So before converting it into Thai form, convert the plain form into mass form. So what is the mass form of there? It is de mass. So Thai form is to just replace mass with Thai. So de mass becomes de Thai. Okay, and how do you convert it into te form? Just replace mass form, mass with te, de te. And how do you convert it into Thari form? Just replace te with Thari. So it's as simple as that. Thai form or Thari form. How do you convert a verb, first group of verb into Thai form or Thari form? Just replace mass with Thai or Thari respectively. Clear? So there becomes de Thai and de Thari. The same formula applies for all the verbs that fall under first group. Sagir is the second example. So mass form of sagir is sagimas. Thai form is to replace mass with thai becomes sage thai. Te form is sage te and tari form is sage tari. Just replacing mass with tari. So de thai means I want to go out. Sage thai means I want to bend down. I want to low down. Clear? Now let's take the example of second group of verbs. I have called out four verbs here. The first one is yasumu. Mass form of yasumu is yasumimas. Thai form is to just replace mass with thai. Yasumi thai. The same as first group of verb. And te form, we know that any second group of verb that ends with ends with mu letter has to be replaced with nde. So it becomes yasunde. Now, how do you replace into Thari form? Just replace De with Dari. Yasun Dari. Okay. So, Yasumi Thai is I want to take rest. Yasuma becomes Yasumi Mas. Replace Mas with Thai becomes Yasumi Thai. And convert it into Te form. Replace Te with Dari. It becomes Yasun Dari. The same formula applies for all the second group of verbs. Noma becomes nomimas, nomithai, nonde, nondari. Kaer is an exception. Okay. So kaeri mas. Mas form of kaer is kaeri mas. Replace mas with thai. Kaeri thai. 
te form becomes kayate as it is an exceptional word and replace te with tari it becomes kayatari so kayir to convert it into te form first convert it into mass form then replace mass with tai to convert it into tari form first convert the plain form into te form and then replace te with tari okay the last word is hik mass form of hik is hikimas tai tai form of hikimas is hiki tai so to convert it into tari form first convert the plain form into te form it becomes hi te it is it is, it is it is not hikite it is hite so any second group of verb that ends with u sorry it, that ends with ku letter will have the te form as ite okay you have to replace you have to replace ku with ite another example is kak the te form of kak is kaite another example is kik te form of kik is kite so this is how it is okay so tari form becomes kaitari kitari hitari clear so this is how you convert a plain form into tai form and tari form so the basic rule here is that irrespective of any group of verbs to convert a plain form into tai form first convert the plain form into mass form and then replace mass with tai form okay to convert a plain form into tari form first convert the plain form into te form and then replace te with tari it's as simple as that clear okay the next part of hatten is learning the body parts in japanese so what is a body in japanese it is karada okay it is karada karada means body so first we will learn all the words that is in the that is written in the left hand side the first one is atama atama is head atama is head me eyes me eyes hana nose hana nose nodo throat nodo throat mune is chest mune is chest heso is navel heso is navel momo is thighs momo thighs sune is lower leg sune lower leg the right part of words are mimi which is ear mimi ear kuchi mouth kuchi mouth kata shoulder kata shoulder ude arms ude arms onaka stomach onaka stomach hiza knee hiza hiza knee ashi leg or foot ashi is leg or foot one word which is not present here is hifu which is skin okay hifu skin just remember that hifu means skin hiza is knee hifu is skin okay let's read one more time atama head me eyes hana nose nodo throat mune chest heso navel momo thighs sune lower leg mimi ears kuchi mouth kata shoulder ude arm onaka stomach hiza knee ashi leg or foot hifu skin karada is body clear so the last part of hatten is learning the counters associating it with numbers so we will learn two different counters here one is kai and the other one is pi hai or by respectively 
So chi is a counter for occurrences. For example, when someone is asking you uh, how many times you have harvested rice in a an year and your answer is three times, you say it as sang chi. So here it is an occurrence. So chi is a counter for occurrences. And pi, by or high, we have already learnt in the grammar session that it is a counter for drinks served in glasses or cups. Clear? So let's learn these counters associating it with the respective numbers. First one is ichi. The kai form is ikkai. Ikkai, not ichi kai, but ikkai. For ni, it is nikai. Nikai. Sang, sangkai. Sangkai. Yong, yongkai. And it is not yokai or shikai. It is yongkai only. Go, gokai. Gokai. Roku, rokkai. It is not rokukai. It is rokkai. Nana, nana kai. Nana kai. Hachi Hakkai. It is not Hachi Kai but Hakkai. Q Q Kai. Q Kai. Ju Jukkai. It is not Ju Kai. It is Jukkai. Ikkai, Nikai, Sankai, Yonkai, Gokai, Rukkai, Nanakai, Hakkai, Q Kai, and Jukkai. Okay. Now let's learn the counters for drinks. Ichi, Ippai. It is not Ichi Pai or Ichi Hai or Ichi Bai. It is Ippai. Ni, Ni Hai. Ni Hai. Sang, Sambai. Sambai. Yong, Yong Hai. Yong Hai. Go, Go Hai. Go Hai. Rok, Rob Pai. Not Rok Pai, Rob Pai. Nana, Nana Hai. Nana hai. Hachi hapai. Hapai. Q q hai. Q hai. Ju jupai. Jupai. Ippai ni hai. Sambai yong hai. Go hai. Ropai nana hai. Hapai q hai. Jupai. So these are the counters associating it with numbers for drinks. Kai is a counter for occurrences. Clear? Now we have come into the conversation part of this lesson. Title is Netsuga Arimas. Netsuga Arimas. So Netsu means fever. Arimas is existence. Ga is used when you are introducing something new to the receiver. So Netsuga Arimas. It literally translates to fever is there. Now we will have to see who has got the fever to uh, in this lesson. Okay. So initially the conversation happens between Mr. Raja and Suzuki. Raja initiates the conversation. Suzuki-san, daijoubu desu ka? Kao iro ga warui desu yo? Biyoki desu ka? Suzuki-san, Raja is addressing Suzuki-san. Daijoubu desu ka? Daijoubu is alright. Desu ka is interrogative structure. Daijoubu desu ka? Are you okay? Kao iro. Kao is face. Iro is color. So kao iro ga warui desu yo. Warui is bad or very dull. So kao iro ga warui desu yo. Your face looks dull. That's what it means. Byoki desu ka? Byoki is sickness. Deska is interrogative structure. So byoki desu ka means are you sick? So Suzuki-san, daijoubu desu ka? Kao iro ga warui desu yo? Byoki desu ka? Suzuki-san, are you okay? Your face looks dull. Are you sick? Suzuki responds, hai, netsu ga arimas. Yes, I have a fever. So we have learnt that Suzuki has got the fever. Hayaku kaeritai desu ga? Bus ga amada kimasen. Hayaku is fast. Hayaku is fast. Kaeritai. Want to return. 
des ga but bus ga mada kimasen mada is not uh, yet actually mada is yet and kimasen is not yet come not come so it translates to not yet come mada kimasen is not yet come so yes i have a fever i want to return or go back early but the bus has not yet arrived and then raja responds kusuri wa arimas ka kusuri is medicine arimas is available or existence wa ka is interrogative structure so kusuri wa arimas ka means do you have medicine suzuki suzuki responds arimasen soto ni dete koshi ya sumimas arimasen no i don't have soto ni dete soto is outside dete is to exist uh, to exit soto ni dete skoshi yasumi mas koshi is little yasuma is to take rest so i'll go out and take some rest raja responds soto wa atsui desu yo indo de wa tsurai toki mizu o nondari tatemono no naka de netari shimas soto wa atsui desu yo soto is outside atsui is hot soto wa atsui desu yo outside is hot you know indo de wa in india tsurai toki tsurai is painful okay uh, or soreness toki is occasion so during painfulness in india or whenever you experience difficulty in india mizu o nondari tate mono no naka de netari shimas we drink water and then sleep inside a building tatemono is building or you can call it house mizu o nondari tatemono no naka de netari shimas we drink and then we sleep inside the building suzuki responds so this ka deva mizu wo ippai no mitai des mizu wa arimas ka so this ka is it deva okay now mizu wo ippai no mitai des ippai is a counter so counter for drinks served in a glass or cup so mizu wo ippai no mitai des i want to drink one glass of water mizu wa arimas ka mizu wa arimas ka do you have water mrs is water okay mrs wa arimas ka do you have water and then raja responds mochiron arimas yo dozo mochiron of course arimas yo yes i have dozo please take it suzuki responds arigato gozaimas thank you very much byoen the following conversation happens in a hospital this is between the doctor and suzuki san isha isha is doctor doctor initiates a conversation doshi mashita what's matter with you suzuki responds netsu ga atte tsurai des netsu ga atte tsurai des i have a fever and it is painful doctor asks doko ka itai desu ka doko is where doko ka is where itai is pain this ka is interrogative structure so where do you feel the pain suzuki responds doko mo itaku arimasen doko mo nowhere itaku arimasen nowhere it is painful isha the doctor responds so this ka kino wa takusan nemashita ka so this ka kino wa takusan nemashita ka is it kino is yesterday takusan is very nemashita is past slept wa ka is of uh, interrogative structure kino wa takusan nemashita ka did you sleep uh, too much yesterday suzuki responds hai hayaku nemashita terebi wo minagara nemashita hai hayaku nemashita hayaku is early nemashita is slept i slept early terebi o minagara while watching tv i slept nemashita so nagara is while terebi o minagara nemashita while watching tv i slept doctor responds sore wa yokunai desu yo 
。それは良くないですよ。それ is that。良くない is not good。わ、this is affirmative structure. それは良くないですよ。that's not good, you know.then Suzuki asks, どうしてですか ?why?doctor responds, 昼は暑いですが、夜は少し寒いですから、風邪をひきます。ちゃんとベッドで寝てください。昼は暑いです。昼 is noon. 暑い is hot. わ、です、オファメイトストラクチャー。そう、ヒルは暑いです。The noon is hot, but, が is but. 夜は night. 少し寒いですから、since the night is little cool, 風をひきます。You will catch cold. ちゃんとベッドで寝てください。Please, prop, please sleep properly in a bed. ちゃんと is properly, ベッド is bed, day is indicating the location or place. ねてくださいです。Please sleep. So, ちゃんとベッドでねてください。Please sleep properly in the bed. Suzuki responds. はい。Yes. Then, doctor. 一日に3回熱を下げる薬を飲んで、水をたくさん飲んで、ゆっくり休んでください。頭や手や足が痛いときは、この白い薬を飲んでください。So, 一日 is one day. に3回 is three times. 熱を下げる薬 means the medicine that lowers down the fever を飲んで drink. So drink or have the medicine that lowers down the fever three times in a day and mizu o taksan n o n d e drink plenty of water and yukuri yasunde kudasai. Yukuri is slowly yasunde kudasai. Please take rest slowly. Atama ya te ya ashi. Atama is head. Ya and te is hand. Ya is again and ashi is foot or leg. Ga itai toki wa. Itai is painful. Toki is when or occasion. So when you feel pain in either head, hand or leg, kono shiroi kusuri o nonde kudasai. この白い薬、this white color medicine を飲んでください。Please have this white color medicine.Okay? And then Suzuki responds, はい、ありがとうございました。Yes, thank you very much. 医者、お大事に。お大事に means please take care of yourself or get well soon.This is often used when you visit someone in a hospital.Okay? So the doctor Greets Suzuki saying, O Daiji ni, get well soon or please take care of yourself. Clear? Now let's have a recap of the of entire conversation again. Netsu ga arimas, Raja. Suzuki san, daijobu desu ka? Kao iro ga warui desu yo? Byoki desu ka? Suzuki. Hai, netsu ga arimas, hayaku kaeri tai desu ga, bus ga mada kimasen. Raja, kusuri wa arimas ka? Suzuki. ありません。外に出て少し休みます。ラジャ、外は暑いですよ。インドでは辛い時、水を飲んだり、建物の中で寝たりします。鈴木、そうですか。では、水をいっぱい飲みたいです。水はありますかラジャ、もちろんありますよ。どうぞ。鈴木、ありがとうございます。病院で、医者、どうしましたスズキ、熱があって、つらいです。医者、どこか痛いですか ?Do you have pain anywhere? スズキ、どこも痛くありません。医者、そうですか昨日はたくさん寝ましたかスズキ、レスポンス。はい、早く寝ました。テレビを見ながら寝ました。医者、それは良くないですよ。スズキ、どうしてですか医者、昼は暑いですが、夜は少し寒いですから、風邪をひきます。ちゃんとベッドで寝てください。鈴木、はい。医者、一日に3回熱を下げる薬を飲んで、水をたくさん飲んで、ゆっくり休んでください。頭や手や足が痛いときは、この白い薬を飲んでください。鈴木、はい。ありがとうございました。医者、お大事に。まとめ
鈴木さんは早く帰りたいですが、バスがまだ来ません。鈴木さん wants to leave early, but the bus has not arrived yet. つらいときは水を飲んだり寝たりします。When you feel painful, 水を飲んだり寝たりします。So when I feel painful, I take water and then sleep. 夜は少し寒いですから、ちゃんとベッドで寝てください。夜は少し寒いですから、since it is little cold in the night, ちゃんとベッドで寝てください。Please sleep properly in a bed. 薬を飲んで、ミスを飲んで、ゆっくり休んでください。Have medicine and then drink water and then rest slowly. A recap. 鈴木さんは早く帰りたいですが、バスがまだ来ません。辛い時は水を飲んだり寝たりします。夜は少し寒いですから、ちゃんとベッドで寝てください。薬を飲んで、水を飲んで、ゆっくり休んでください。So we are into the last part of this lesson, Renshu exercise. So again, there are three set of questions here. The first one, let's see the example. Mizu o nomimas, kusuri o nomimas. I drink water and drink medicine or have medicine. So, mizu o nonde, kusuri o nomimas. You have to basically join these two separate, separate sentences into a single sentence using te form. Mizu o nonde kusuri o nomimas. This is the example. So we have three questions here. Let's try answering them. The first one is yasai wo kaimas. Yasai is vegetable. Kawu is to buy. So mass form of kawu is kaimas. Yasai wo kaimas. Buy vegetables. Kare wo tsukurimas. To prepare curry. Okay. So combine these two sentences into a single sentence using te form. Now, how do you do that? Let's see. Yes, I wo kaite. Yes, I wo kaite. Kare wo tsukurimas. Kare wo tsukurimas. Yasai wo kaite, kare wo tsukurimas. The next one. Asa gohan wo tabemas, ha wo migakimas. Asa gohan is breakfast. Ta wo tabemas. Eat breakfast, ha wo migakimas. Brush your teeth. So, how do you combine this into a single sentence? Asa gohan wo tabete. はを磨きます。clear? マスフォーム、食べる、食べます、食べて。OK? Let me write this 食べて in 漢字。食べて。OK? The last one, 傘を刺します、外を歩きます。傘 is umbrella. So, sasu is to hold up. So, kasa wo sashimas. Hold the umbrella. Soto wo arukimas. Soto is outside. Aruka is to walk. Walk outside. So, how do you convert it into te form? Kasa wo sashte. Soto wo arukimas. Okay. So, yasai wo kaite, kare wo tsukurimas. Asa gohan wo tabete, ha wo migakimas. Kasa wo sashte, soto wo arukimas. Clear? The next second question is to combine two different sentences using tari form. Example, hon wo yomimas, terebi wo mimas. The answer will be hon wo yondari, terebi wo mitari shimas. Let's try the next three questions. Sampo shimas hea de nemas. Answer will be Sampo shtari 
部屋でねだりしますサンプします。部屋で寝ます。サンプしたり、部屋で寝たりします。The next question. 家にいます。会社にいます。家にいたり、会社にいたりします。The last one. 坂を登ります。坂を降ります。坂 is slope. 登る is to climb. Or is to get down. So, Saka wo no borimas, Saka wo rimas. Saka wo no botari, Saka wo uru. Uru is otari shimas. Clear? Saka wo no botari, Saka wo otari shimas. The last one, you have to fill the right grammar particle in the blanks. The first one, Heya niwa dare dash himasen. We have learned the grammar that it is mo and himasen. So, Heya niwa dare mo himasen. Nobody is there in the room. Clear? Hako no naka niwa nani dash arimasen. Hako no naka niwa nani mo arimasen. Hako no naka ni wa nani mo arimasen. The last one. Kyo wa ame desu kara dash ni mo ikita karimasen. Kyo wa ame desu kara soto ni mo ikita karimasen. You cannot even go outside as it is raining today. Clear? Heya ni wa dare mo imasen. Hako no naka ni wa nani mo arimasen. Kyo wa ame desu kara soto ni mo ikitaku arimasen. So we have completed with lesson number 12. Keep practicing. I will see you in the next lesson. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. See you then.